Welcome back, everyone. You may be in a situation where you're having some severe battery drain within iOS 16. Now, I will tell you, iOS 16 right now is in its infancy. If you're watching this video like many, many months from now, then obviously it's a little different story. But because it's in a beta right now, you're going to be in a different situation than if it was in the official version. Since so few people are using the beta and since it's so new, there's going to be lots of issues, there's going to be lots of concerns. So what I'd recommend doing is pretty much just staying up to date on the betas and staying up to date on the official version if you're there. So make your way over to your settings panel, you want to click general, you want to click software update, and you just want to see if there's an update available. If there is, you want to go ahead and update to it immediately. This can pretty much alleviate a majority of the issue that you're going to be having. Personally, in my opinion, whenever I've had any issues on a beta, including battery health, battery life, anything like that, usually an update can go ahead and adjust certain things there. So that's the first thing. Now, another thing I'd recommend doing is with the new additions to the lock screen with all the new widgets and everything, every single little widget that you add, including the widgets down here, there can be some concern with some battery health or battery life degradation, so battery life depleting. So what I'd recommend doing is kind of limiting the amount of widgets that you have on your panel. So here you can go and click on them. You can go and click minus. You can go and delete them out of the way. Those are some things that I'd recommend doing. I don't even know how you delete these widgets. So you hold them down, I guess they get deleted. So that's something I would probably recommend looking at is deleting some of these widgets, not all of them, but deleting some because every single little widget that you have, it can cause a little bit of battery life being kind of, you know, taken out from there. So that's another thing I would recommend doing. On top of that, any other widgets or anything like that that you normally wouldn't do on iOS, you know, on previous versions, you may want to go ahead and limit those widgets as well. That's another thing that can really kind of deplete your battery life extremely fast. And like I've stated in my opinion from things I've seen before, that's another thing that can probably cause some issues on top of the pre-existing issues of your iPhone. Now, another thing that may be happening is with your iPhone, the battery health has gone down. So what I'd recommend doing here is scrolling down into your battery, clicking battery right there, clicking battery health, and seeing what your battery health is on your iPhone. If it's like mine that's 87% or lower, well, there can be some issues there and some cause of concerns. So what I'd recommend doing is pretty much making, uh, taking a look at your battery and seeing if you want to go ahead and get it replaced. That may be something you may want to consider. If it's still having issues on your iPhone, what I'd recommend doing is probably doing a factory data reset, first backing up your data, and then doing a factory data reset, and seeing if that can possibly fix the issues too. Again, it's not a you know like a hundred percent fact, but sometimes those can those can cause some issues, and those are pretty much the main ways to go ahead and do it. You know, reinstall iOS 16 it that way, and that may end up fixing it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.